chick flick without fun. I liked Note just a tad more than Sonakshi Sinha's last solo outing, Akira. Akira derailed from its action track and went into a mental asylum to nosedive thereafter. At least Noor stays on the route it sets out to take. However, chick lit and chick flicks, especially in India, don't get lapped up like Bridget Jones or Sex in the City. And in the West too, they've been done to death. Out here, director Sunil Sippy is unable to turn the book Karachi You're Killing Me into a fun or a compelling watch. So it further erodes whatever little appeal in the story. Working girl Noor Roy Chowdhury hates her life, hates her geezer not working and Malti, her domestic, not getting it fixed. She has issues with her weight, with her job as a TV journalist and she even resents the cat getting more attention than her from her father. The director uses an annoying amount of voiceovers to articulate what's constantly going on in her head, which is not the best cinematic way to narrate what's going on. It's also not the most comforting premise to start off with, considering Noor has two happy besties, her boss Shekhar Das isn't a beast, and she has a comfortable house with a nice father. So her cribbing can get irritating and as pointless as the assignment she's whining about or the drinking bout she goes on. She doesn't seem to lack male company either and gets new boyfriend Ayan Banerjee soon enough. Ultimately, it's her quest for the big break that makes her introspect. In her enthusiasm to get a real story, she unwittingly and irresponsibly endangers the life of her maid's brother Vilas. It comes at the same time as her discovery that Ayan is an unethical media person, he's a byline thief. One isn't sure how all that becomes a long indictment of the city she lives in, but Noor vents her frustrations over Mumbai's potholes etc, saying nothing new in the bargain. But voila, Mumbai you're killing me goes viral. It's suddenly I love my lifetime topped with a faithful man registering his presence in her life. Like most chick flicks, the frivolous angst of a young woman on a self-discovery trip doesn't make an engaging watch and Sunil Sippy does nothing to grab your attention. However, Sonakshi Sinha looks pretty, sports a smart wardrobe and could have carried the film if only the substance had supported her efforts. For a film that plods, Noor gets a 2-star rating.